What is going on everybody, Beast HD here, and today I'm bringing you guys another fantastic tutorial here in Photoshop CS6, and I'm going to be showing you how to transform any photo into something that looks very cartoony, or it looks like it's been drawn, so it's a really cool effect, and it's actually really easy to do, and then the second part of this tutorial I will then be showing you how to put it into a YouTube banner. So uh, like I said, the effect is really cool, it's really easy to make, you don't need to download anything for this tutorial. All you basically need to do is pay attention and follow along with what I'm doing, and you should have no problems at all in making this yourself. So uh, this is just a really quick example of what you could do with this, um, I actually had this background made from ages ago, so I basically just put it all together so I could have something to show you. So um, yeah, you can basically use any images you want, any background you want, any photo you want, and uh, make this very original and you can even include your picture in it if you would like to. So anyways, once we have Photoshop opened, we are going to go to File and then hit Open. Then we're going to go down and find the picture that you want to make cartoony. So uh, like I said, I'm using my good friend Messi here. <laughs> so make sure you're on your Move tool. Your move tool is the top tool up there on the left and then we're going to go down here to where it says background, double click the background layer and then hit OK, this is unlocking the layer. And then once we have the layer unlocked, we are going to go to the quick selection tool, which is this tool here. So it's what, one, two, three, it's the fourth tool down. We're going to select the quick selection tool. Then using the brackets on your keyboard, the brackets beside the letter P, uh, we're just going to tap this and make the brush bigger. So basically just use the brackets that are right beside the letter P on your keyboard. We're going to right click and just drag out and um, the quick selection tool does a pretty good job of selecting around uh, the picture itself. Basically what we're doing now is we're just removing the background of the image like so. We're going to do the same over here so we're just going to right click and drag. Photoshop will do it nicely as well. And then the bits that are left, so once you have that done hit Control D, just basically deselects everything. Then uh, once we have this done I'm going to hit Control 1 on the keyboard, this will zoom in. Then I'm going to hold the space uh, the space button and right click on the mouse to drag around, to move around the photo when it's zoomed in. And now I'm going to tap the uh, bracket, tap the left bracket beside the P button to make the brush smaller. And we're just going to do the exact same thing and it's nice and zoomed in now so we should be able to get this perfectly. So the longer you spend doing this then obviously the better it will look but just for the interest of time I'm just doing this really quickly. Um, so it mightn't look the best, but uh, hopefully it'll look okay. Then I'm going to hit Control 0 on the keyboard, and that will bring it back to the original size. Once again, Control D, and that will deselect everything. Now I'm going to hit Control T on the keyboard, and I do apologize for all these shortcuts, but it's just the fastest way of doing it. So uh, hopefully you can understand them pretty okay. So I just hit Control T on the keyboard there, and just let right click on one of the boxes in the corner just to like scale it down a tiny bit and then I'm gonna go up here to the top and hit this tick like so and now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go to filter and then go to artistic no no sorry filter and then to blur and we're going to go down to Gaussian blur select that have your pixels up to around around 20 so uh, have the radius in pixels up to around about 20, just move or change your pixels by either typing in the number or just moving this little slider up and down. And uh, once you have it up to around 20, hit OK. Then we're going to go to Edit and Fade Gaussian Blur, just hit that. And then hit this drop down menu here and go to where it says Darken, click on Darken and then we're just going to hit OK. And then once again, we are going to go to Filter, and then Artistic, and this time we're going to hit Poster Edges, like so. And then have your edge thickness, this will change depending on what type of photo you're using, but um, have your posterization up to 6, and your edge intensity to 2, and then your edge th thickness, just choose the best looking one for your image because um, these do change quite a bit from image to image. Some images look stupid on one of the thicknesses and other images will look really good on it. So um, let's see which one looks the best here. I'm going to bring this up quite a bit. So I'm going to bring this up to about 8. But you might have your edge thickness to like 2 if you think it looks better. So it's really um, all about whatever you think looks best at this point. So then we're going to hit OK there. And now we get a nice little poster it kind of look. It looks like a drawing. It looks nice and cool already. And that was really easy. So uh, once we have that done, I'm going to right click on layer 0. I'm going to go to blending options and just click blending options. 
and then I am going to click on outer glow we're going to double click into outer glow and I'm going to have the spread at zero the size or the spread at about one one or two one two or three basically the size at about five and um, change the blend mode to normal and change the opacity up to 100 percent and um, then we are also going to add a bevel and emboss and click just click bevel and emboss click the little box there beside it and it'll add a tick then we're going to click contour we're going to double click it into bevel and emboss make sure your style is inner bevel technique is smooth depth we're going to bring this up to about 250 percent then uh, your size have it to around about five once again soften mm, you can bring the soften up if you want i'm going to bring it up to 10 no i'm just going to eh. I'm going to bring it up to about three and then that is all we have to do so i'm just going to hit okay and you can't really see what that's done yet you kind of need a background um to get the full effect of what that just did i'll just add one in really quick actually just to show you what we've just done probably should have done that before i did it oh what did i just do i did not mean to make a group i shouldn't have done this i'm just wasting time now so you don't have to do this, I'm just doing it to show you the um, background, basically. So as you can see, he's got a little kind of halo type deal around him, and it looks nice and cool. His um, features are kind of exaggerated and stuff, and uh, yeah, it looks nice and cool, so I'm just going to delete that there. So, uh, okay, so once we have that done, it is now time to put Mr. Messi into a YouTube banner. So to do this, we are going to go to File and then hit New. Then change your width to 2,120 uh, pixels, make sure it's pixels, and your height will be 1,192 also pixels. Resolution, we are going to change this up to 150. Then uh, have a transparent or white background, it doesn't really matter, and then just hit OK. And you get a nice new template here, and then what we're going to do is go to uh, View. And if you do not have a tick beside rulers, just click on rulers, and um, these little margins will appear here so once these margins appear go over to the left margin over here then just right click on your mouse and drag out and you get a blue line here we're going to put this first blue line right on the line beside the five here and then we're going to do it once again drag it out and put the blue line where it says 30 and then we're going to drag a line down like so go to where it says five and then we're going to count down four so five one two three four like so then drag down another line and go to 15 and count in four once again. So one, two, three, four, like so. So now this is a perfect template for our YouTube banner and um, basically shows us where all our text and image needs to be so that people will be able to see it when you upload it to the YouTubes. So once we have that done, um, then I'm just going to bring in my background. So you can use any background that you want, basically, like I said. I'm just using this background because I had it. Um, on my computer and uh, yeah so uh, just bring in your background if you want to bring one in from your desktop then just go to file and then open and then go find it and click on it and Photoshop will bring it in for you so uh, once I have that done I'm just gonna right click on Mr. Messi here make sure we have our move tool selected so right click on Messi and then drag him straight into your template like so and then I'm gonna hit Control T on the keyboard just to resize him a bit here so there we go just make sure he fits in between the blue lines so you will be able to see him when you upload it to YouTube and um, like I said you can basically do whatever you want now now that your image is in your YouTube banner you can do whatever you want just add in a bit of text or whatever so I'm just gonna add in messy 10 and make this a bit bigger then hit that tick I'm just going to change this to lighten or screen or something, I don't know, soft light, and there we go, it's basically just a really quick YouTube banner, but um, I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial, it's a really easy thing to do, and if you put yourself into the picture, it can be quite funny to see yourself kind of cartoon arised. Um, if that is a word I really highly doubt that's a word but anyway like I said really hope you enjoyed and if you did please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel for a lot more tutorials to come in the very near future so uh, yeah thanks for watching and I will see you guys later bye